Hello everybody, my name is Henry Tenby. I'd like to welcome you personally to this edition of Model Moment. We are proceeding with another 10 episodes of Model Moment. We did have a lot of interest in the series. We have about 200 people watching each show and I take that as a strong sign of encouragement and support. So for those of you that are tuning in, thank you very much. Also, if you're a collector and you're passionate about these models, you can post a comment I'd love to see your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the topics that we are presenting in these videos. Also, there is a subscribe button in the lower right hand corner right there that you can click the red subscribe button and YouTube will send you a notification whenever we're about to publish one of these videos. So why don't you do that now and you won't miss out on the early action of our new release videos. So let's get on with this next model review. As you can see, what's in front of me is a very impressive Air France Concorde model. Uh, the model is a 172nd scale, original 1970s production that is one piece plastic or fiberglass. And these models were produced actually starting in the 1960s and they had quite an impressive production run going through the entire operating life of the Concorde, so right through until the 90s. And there were a number of companies in France and the UK uh, that produced beautiful Concorde models over the decades. But what we have in front of us is a 172nd scale Concorde F Whiskey Tango Sierra Alpha. And it is in the original airline operating scheme that Air France used when the aircraft went into service circa 1973-1974. Uh, this model, I should point out, I acquired in very rough condition. It was uh, in need of complete overhaul and my team and I completely redid the model and brought it back to factory new specifications. And the finish, the clear coat that we employ is of a auto grade uh, cellulose and it is ultraviolet protected against fading and yellowing in the decades ahead. So this model will be uh, hopefully looking just the way it does 30, 40, 50, 60 years from now as the technology that's used in automotive clear coats will prevent yellowing which was so common in decades past. Certainly when models were produced in the 70s and 60s the clear coats weren't to the same uh, technical specifications that we enjoy today. Now this model is a one piece model and well, I believe the engine intakes were probably added but it's either one piece fiberglass, uh, most likely one piece fiberglass and plastic combination. And they of course were made for Air France and British Airways back in the day. And a good number of these models actually exist but finding them in good condition is, is a challenge and finding them in the vintage liveries, you know, the old British Airways scheme or the old early 1970s Air France scheme is not so easy if you're looking for a pristine example for your collection. So let's talk about the manufacturers of these models. Uh, Space Models, Westway Models in the UK were, were known producers of large numbers of, of Concorde models. Brian Austria Tompkins of Executive Display Models produced a lot of Concorde models uh, during the decades that he was pr in production from his showroom at the uh, Sheraton Skyline Hotel, Bath Road, uh, adjacent to Heathrow Airport. Now in France, of course the French, the French were the masters of the model. It is, uh, some would argue, a French design, uh, the, the beauty uh, of, of the model uh, cannot be debated. The Concorde is absolutely stunning in appearance. So who do we have in France that produced Concorde models back in the day? Now, some of you may already have my book. If you don't have my book, I, I do recommend it, naturally. Uh, it's called The Aircraft Display Model Collector, Investor and Appraisal Guide, written by myself. And we do have a section completely dedicated to French airline models in my book. I can tell you that the two major companies that produced these models in France uh, were Bourbon, uh, which is, I believe, still in existence today, although not producing commercial aircraft display models. And the other one was E, 
EEC, and I'll tell you about them. EEC was a huge company that produced ex travel agent display models in France uh, from the 1940s through the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and they produced a wide range of models from small models to huge massive cutaway four models, and their work is absolutely fantastic. I believe this is an EEC model, and that stands for, I'll just show you um, in the book here. So as you can see in my book, we have quite a few examples of the famous models made by Maquette d'études et d'exposition. Pardon my French, uh, I'm not fluent, but I hope you'll forgive me for my pronunciation. Their models were absolutely stunning, and they produced, you know, Mercure, Comet, um, all, all sorts. The cutaways that this company produced were absolutely stunning. And this exact model, this very Concord model, I actually used as an illustration in my book because of its natural beauty. So do check out my book. Do check out the whole section on French Concords and other French models. I'd like to thank David Bourgode as he helped me with a lot of the information on the chapter on French aircraft models in my book. So David, thank you for your help. This model I refinished as best I could with the detail that the model originally had. And what we added was, of course, very good wing, these lines that are along the wing, the, the, the cut lines from the top for the landing gear, and of course the, the exits. And the underside of the model, of course, is also very, very beautiful. You've got very nice flat tracks. The, the exhausts are beautiful, and there's your engine, Olympus engine manufacturer uh, markings, which are, of course, authentic to the actual airplane. You've got your red danger on the engine intakes. And moving around to the front of the airplane, you've got the Air France logo. And we'll just give you a walk around the model. The model measures exactly 33 inches nose to tail. And according to my calculation, that makes it roughly 172nd scale. I've had it about seven or eight years and this restoration was done a few years ago. And it's probably the nicest Concorde I have seen, although I can tell you that Nomoto made a very beautiful Concorde model in various airline liveries, including Japan Airlines, which was a fantasy or, or salesman scheme to try to sell the model to Japan Airlines, but that is quite rare. And have a look at that, have a look at those lines. It's just really quite nice. Other models uh, were produced for airlines that never did operate the Concorde. And if you're interested in the Concorde history and the airlines that placed orders but never actually took delivery, if you're ever in the UK and you can make it to the museum uh, where they built the Vanguard and the Viscount at Weybridge, the Brooklyn's Aviation Museum, they have an absolutely fantastic collection of of Concorde models that were that were painted up in the liveries of all the or many of the prospective airlines and I highly recommend that you visit the museum at Brooklands well worth it if you're a collector of travel agent display models will also be a highlight for you this model is on a replacement walnut stand the original stand would have just been a metal tripod and that became uh, separated from the model over the years since its production back in the 1970s, but it does present very well on this nice walnut base. So what do you think of this model? Do you have any nice Concorde models in your collection? Do you think that one particular Concorde model maker made better models than another? If so, I'm curious to know which one you think was the best. I particularly like the Nomoto models, and of course these models made by EEC are particularly beautiful. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate thumbs up. If you could click the thumbs up button below, that would be awesome. And do tell your friends about these videos because the more people that we have watching them, the more feedback, the more comments, the more interest, the more networking, the better it is for everybody. So I do appreciate your helping me spread the word on these videos. So until next time, 
I wish you happy collecting, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.